I had the option of watching it with my family. My wife's away at the moment. And uh, I, yeah, it's a strange feeling. Uh, I think I hadn't seen it. And I think uh, the journey I've been on with the, with that character and with that show, I kind of felt I needed to slightly be on my own to process it a bit. But I think the thing, w- one of the things that was most powerful about the ending was that um, you have this kind of all guns blazing finish and yet at the same time right at the final moment you have something very domestic where yeah. it's it's switched to his son and the thing that I found most powerful was that it's the legacy he's given his child is the witness of his father's murder I think it's again it's that funny thing what the, the show's done about cycles of violence and the nature of, of revenge and uh, how people are sucked into those cycles. Uh, Dublin's a very small place, and the, the the communities we were filming in, as I say, were are, are, have been an eyewitness to that 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 culture. And so, uh, and so, yeah, it was the kind of line between fiction and reality. Some was very very close. It's a sign of the success of the show, how and the appetite people have for the show that people stop you in the street and want to talk about the show and their affection for characters and storylines and. We're very lucky as a group of actors and a group of creatives to have such success mm. with this and to have hit this kind of uh, zeitgeist, uh, you know, yeah. appetite. He's a seductive character, I think, to watch, and and he uh, he has a certain charisma and dynamism that can be very uh, attractive, um, and uh, he has a kind of magnetism. But I, but uh, again, it's that 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 couple the. Um, what he does, his choices, uh, you know, are very dark. It's that funny thing. Some people go, oh, he's a drug dealer, and he is. And But it's equally saying Tony Soprano is just a drug dealer, or Walter White's a drug dealer, or Tony Soprano's a mob boss. So he's, you know, he is that thing, but it's never black and white. There's a million other things going on, and that's what makes the character in the show uh, fascinating and complex. It's, uh, it's, you know, you sometimes think he's got a crystal ball, Stuart, when he comes up with the stuff. You read things and you realise how kind of pertinent they are and how topical they are. I think, you know, what, what it's always been about is a tapestry of characters, an ensemble of, of individuals. And, you know, the show survived the departure of John Boyd, survived the departure of Darren, and it can survive the departure of Nidge. And if they want to do that, then then it can. And, and the appetite is there. And people people love the show so if, if they want to it'll mm-hmm. go on but then there's always the quit while you're ahead well uh, there's the, you know yeah you have to you know you've got to weigh things up in, in, in those terms but uh, we'll you know we'll all wait and see